Hello there, everybody. I'm Briggs here with another Lego discussion. <laughs> Here's the topic of uh, the day. Is Lego overpriced? Now, I'm not talking about when they're, like, just outright overpriced, when anyone can tell you. The 20th anniversary set, uh, the snow speeder, it should be 30, but it's $40. Battle packs, they're 15, they should be 12, and now they're even changing to 20, overpriced. Um, Snoke's throne room, $70 instead of 50, overpriced. Um, just, I can name a handful of sets that are overpriced, especially in recent memory. But, aside from the overpriced sets, let, let, let's take a set like, hmm, let's say the Tinker Truck Takedown. Go watch my review on that if you're not familiar with this set, but it is a $30 set and it comes with four minifigures. Good deal, right? Yes, but I believe that that's just what we're accustomed to in Lego. Because let's uh, take a toy, the Nerf guns. You know Nerf guns? So you can buy like a sizable Nerf gun about from here to here for 40 bucks, right? This is a $40 set right here, the Wild Wakanda. Hmm. And there are a lot of other toys out there. For example, um, if you want to buy a dollhouse, a huge dollhouse, maybe from here to here, from here to here, two floors high, filled with dolls, all that, that's going to cost you about 50 bucks, I'm going to say, on the toy market. 50 bucks, right? So, uh, Lego houses that scale to that, let's say um, the Simpsons house, or it's very similar in size to the Quickie Mart right there. The Quickie Mart is $200, and if the Quickie Mart were produced as a toy, I could see it going for $30. Um, video game consoles, okay, right? Um, so let's take um, the Death Star, or yeah, the Death Star, uh, I got the 20, 2008 version, $400. A Nintendo Switch with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is $400. Uh, let's just say this is the new Death Star that costs $500 from 2016. Let's say with the extra $100, you bought a bunch of games. That can last you a long time. You know, games have so many levels. Um, but a Death Star, I'm going to say, will also last a long time. But in the end, the games seem like they last longer. So, maybe you see what I'm getting at now. Lego seems overpriced but let's even talk about this a bit more it's easy to make one overall piece of plastic here let's drop the video game topic for just a sec the dollhouse topic with the cookie mark it's easy to make just an overall kind of um dollhouse like it's one piece of plastic then lego which is individual bricks they generally cost more to produce right so fine bring that argument at me what about fake lego fake lego which i do not buy because i do not like it because um i will talk about why i don't like it later but fake lego um uh if you want to buy this uh lego ninjago city which is actually really priced well you know but uh if you want to buy let's say um Hmm, what's a good set to bring up? Oh, the Death Star. Yes, the Death Star. 500 US for the real one. Guess how much fake Lego is? $100. That means they can make these pieces of plastic. $100. Right. Here's the thing. A lot of fake Lego companies, um, you know, it's a fifth of the price, but the quality of the bricks and the minifigures are, are terrible. The, the quality is definitely not um, good whatsoever. So I'll give it that. And being optimistic, like even the figures, they look very bad. Um, and Lego had the original idea. So all of that considered, let's give Lego the authority to double the price to $200. But then where's the other $300? Here's the thing. Fake Lego copies Lego, meaning they don't come up with the building instructions. And let me tell you, they probably pay the people who design the sets 
a lot. So um, let's, sorry about that. Let's not talk about the new kind of um, Death Star because that is overpriced, $500. But let's talk about regular Lego set that isn't overpriced, the old Death Star for $400. So I've already bring the cost up to 200, but then Lego designers, let's say Lego pays them 100 for like um, each set they sell. So $300. Where does the other $100 come in? The original Lego brick idea was Lego themselves. I feel like they, well, it was kind of them. They got the idea from somewhere else, but like they didn't just copy, outright copy. I say that deserves something. I say that deserves a fifty dollars. So three fifty, three fifty. So there's fifty dollars left. So I still believe that um, that part is overpriced. I think that Lego could make a lot of money selling these sets at I don't want to say half the price, not one fourth, uh, not two fourths, at three fourths. At three fourths the price, like if they took a quarter off each normally um, uh, price set, like four hundred dollars, like not weird, like um, some overpriced sets that I actually don't own any because I don't like overpriced sets. But you know that's a super good set. But if they charge one third of the price, um, I think that they could still make a lot of money, and it would definitely drive up sales. I think quite a bit. Lego Ninjago City, $300 for 5,000 pieces. You'd think that was $500, but no, Lego made it $300. And it has a lot of small, but also a lot of huge pieces. So Lego made money off that, I'll tell you that. So that definitely says that they can make money um, making the sets very reasonable prices, like two-fifths less. So I think that compared to other toys and just themselves, they could lower the prices and they would lose a lot of money, but like they'd make a lot. Like suppose they make a um, hundred, okay? Let's just use simple m numbers, a hundred. Making the prices cheaper, they could make 50, but they'd still make 50, which is a lot, but you know, they just could make so much more. But yeah, um, just a lot of thoughts here. But yeah, that is it for this uh, discussion and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below. And by the way, I was supposed to film this earlier, but I forgot, but I will talk to you again uh, soon. Bye.